guys welcome back to my channel I think I need to I think I need to make a name for you guys what do you think what name should I be calling you guys I need I really need to make a name for you guys today's video is about this glitter look that I'm gonna do for Valentine's Day cuz you know it's almost Valentine's Day and people will be going on dates I know some of you got some cute dates you're going on some nice dates so this is just a makeup look an idea that you can do this is extra 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 because it's it's really um, glittery it's shiny it's for people like me really that like oh that lighting please stay away that like to um, shine most of the time so yes so if you're going on a cute date and you want to look so cute and so shiny keep watching this video to not, and do not forget to subscribe do not forget to like this video okay and i'll see you i'll see you in my next videos i'll keep seeing you in my next videos okay okay so you already know i like to do my eyebrows off camera which i already did and for the base i'll be using this nyx lipstick it's pink so i'll just be putting that on my eyelid and i'll be blending it out now uh, let me just get a darker kind of reddish because I want this to be pink red now cuz yeah so I'm just gonna get another lipstick So I'm really focusing on this part right here because I want it to be um, dark. So the glitter I'm using is from AliExpress colors 29 and 38. So I'll be mixing. Uh, the big chunk glitter with this small chunk glitter just because I want it to be um, what's the word? I don't know the word so I'm just not gonna say the word so what I just discovered is I should have put the big glitters first and not the small glitters because the small glitters took all this space now the big glitters cannot stick so after trying so many things I discovered I have to put the lipstick all over again on
Okay, so now I'm going to... <laughs> Stop. Okay, so to control my face, I'm going to use this eyeshadow right here. Okay. I thought I was recording but I wasn't but I put on my lipstick the same lipstick that I put on my eyelids the I want it glossy okay so I'm gonna cut the lace this hair is from Kalai I don't know if I'm saying it right but it's from Kalai Hair. It's a hair company on Amazon. They sell wigs, all that kind of stuff, all that kind of hair stuff, you know. Their hair is really good. So they sent me this, um, this bob wig. I'll tell you the details as I put, as I put it on. So far, first impression is good just looking at it. I haven't worn it. I've tried it on, yeah, but I haven't like worn it, worn it. I haven't worn it out or anything like that. As you can see, I'm just cutting the lace right now. Okay, so it's got two. It's got two combs. What are sides right here, and a comb in the center right there. The pattern space in the middle is amazing, but over here in the sides, it's not as big as I would like it to be. And you have adjustable straps and a comb at the back. So this week, the wig cap is really friendly to people with big heads like Memory and Pepper. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, girl. <laughs> yeah, so these are really good but my head is big so it's really good for people like me I still have to adjust it though because I want it tight I don't want my hair getting my wig getting snatched so <laughs> the density it's not that um, it is not that full because I know some people like their hair is really really thin if you do this is the best hair for you so it's not really full if you like your hair full yeah because sometimes with me I like my hair really full that's why I make my own wigs most of the times but this is good like as you can see look at that I didn't do too much to this wig except I um, went ahead and bleached the knots that was like a week ago and I've never worn it from that time I've been hesitating to make this video so 
so if you watch my videos at the time you know I always put uh, a wig cap under my wigs just to give them um, like just to give it a more natural look like a more natural scalp so I always do that I'm not really giving so much details on how to wear a wig because I've done that in my previous video so if you haven't watched those you can go back and watch um, right now I'm just going to review this hair I'm just going to tell you guys about this hair so they sent this hair to me in like in a box the packaging was really amazing these people have really good packaging Amazon it's amazing so the packaging was good it came right on time like they didn't delay the shipping it was as it it was as they say it would be so this hair was it came like a rip just like a natural bob but I went ahead and customized it I cut it by here and made it short on this side and made it long on this other side just because <laughs> I just wanted something different so okay so I'm using a really tiny brush that I'm supposed to use for my face but all of that I put too much powder to the scalp the lace This wig is cute, like, you know what I'm saying? It's cute. You guys need to buy it. Like, it's not very inconveniencing because it's really not that, it's really not that heavy. So, you can just put it on and just go on with your day. You don't need to glue it down. But, you know, I always love to glue down my wigs because... There's crazy people out there. They can just psh, snatch up the wig. But <laughs> yeah, so this is what it looks like. This is the makeup and this is the wig. So comment down below. Tell me guys if you love this tutorial let me know I'm um, actually going to do another makeup video for people that don't like extra extra looks but for Valentine's Day so stay tuned for that I'm gonna do it for you guys don't worry I got you I got you so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be doing more videos okay I'll be doing more videos so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video